what, what we see is now when we're using our connected cars, connected customers as a platform for retrieving actual on-time and real-time data, what is happening on our roads. That of course has the opportunity to be used, for example, in the insurance industry, but also in many other types of, of industries. We see now how we use road friction when it comes to maintenance of the roads. We also see how that can be used, for example, when it comes to different types of service orientation, pay-per-use, where insurance can be one of them. When it comes to Volvo, our ambition is very much about providing a, a great experience to our end customers in and around our vehicles. And as a part of that, we are leveraging connectivity as one of the core foundations of that. We also see connectivity when it comes to the infotainment solutions in the vehicles. We also see convenience solutions like remote cooling of your car, remote heating of your car. But we also see the new dimension coming up when it comes to connected safety. And that will be a very important part of us now exploring what the network society is all about. So when it comes to these type of innovations, it is important for us within Volvo to be leading the development when it comes to connected car, the connected customer and what it will bring to the society. And the most important is actually that we develop capabilities and features that our consumers and customers will benefit from long term wise. As a part of that, naturally, these type of, of, of events and also these type of features in our cars are important. And then, of course, market them and also tell the world and, and the society what our cars and connected customers are capable of. That becomes an important part of actually moving our industry forward. I think what we see here when it comes to, to challenges as well as opportunities is actually we see a potential of bringing different industries together. Being in the automotive industry, it's all historically, it's been very much about engines, developing platforms, tires, rims. All of a sudden, we're bringing capabilities from, for example, the telco industry into the development of the automotive industry. And this convergence of industry creates a great opportunity from a customer perspective, but also a number of challenges merging different types of, of industries together. When it comes to driverless cars, it is an important aspect which we in Volvo are continuously working with. We have communicated that we, by 2017, will put 100 cars, autonomous uh, drive capabilities on those cars in a project in Gothenburg, which we call Drive Me. They will be 100 cars on the roads of Gothenburg, on, used by normal customers on normal roads which is one way of us uh, in Volvo to explore the capabilities of our cars today, the sensors, the connected vehicle, and how that will interact in the normal ecosystem around our roads and cities. When, when it comes to what we're doing now in, in Gothenburg is one way of actually showcasing how autonomous driving vehicles will be used in a normal city environment. When it comes to various cities, for example, UK or other parts of the world, they are highly interesting. But now what we've said is, let's start with Gothenburg and then let's leverage that knowledge also into other cities and countries. What we now naturally see when our products and our customers becomes connected, then all of a sudden there is a foundation to build different type of customer offerings, different type of, of business models on top of what we have, both uh, when it comes to our vehicles, the type of services we have in our vehicles. And, and we have only seen the beginning of how those service offerings and business models, including the revenue streams, will actually develop over the years uh, to come. But what we said within Volvo, it is important for us to stay on top of this, work actively with the market, both when it comes to technical capabilities, business solutions, and also see which type of, of revenue streams and marketing areas we, we will work with jointly in order to provide the right solutions for the market and the customer. When it comes to those advertising solutions, we have that as one option. What we've decided so far is not to pursue that uh, in the short-term perspective.